that was probably the easiest smart lock I have ever set up. This is the Eufy Security 3-in-1 Video Smart Lock. And I'm a huge fan of the Eufy brand. I've been slowly changing my whole home over to Eufy Security. So this is a new addition that I'm very excited about because this will allow me to not only remotely secure my deadbolt, but also have video directly from it. And I also love that it has a fingerprint reader built right into it as well. Here's the main unit itself. This is the E330 video smart lock. Feels very well made. Yeah. As you can see that there, it's really a nice looking video doorbell. Just, I love this just premium metal finish. This is not plastic. really is very nice looking. Got a nice keypad right here. Got the doorbell button right here. Video camera right there. And then on top here, we've got the fingerprint reader, which previously on some of the others, it's been here on the side. So I'm curious to see how this one is going to do having that fingerprint reader there right on the top. I guess that is a comfortable position just to put your finger there right on top. So that's the outside portion. And then on the inside, you've got the battery, the manual lock, and assume this slides up, there you go. And then the other neat thing about this E330 is that it is a rechargeable battery that gets put in here. So the previous doorbell locks that I've worked with have been AA batteries, with the exception of the Lockley Vision Pro that one was a rechargeable battery, but all the rest have been AA batteries and you go through them pretty quickly too. So interested to see how this one does. And this is the inside locking plate or the back side of this. Well, that's going to go on right there. And got some screws and physical keys, which they all usually come with physical keys, which is nice. Got screws packet there. This is the actual deadbolt portion of it. Fairly standard looking there. It is adjustable, looks like, for different depth doors. It is branded with Eufy right there as well, which I don't usually see the actual deadbolt portion of these branded, so it's interesting they're branding that as well. Hopefully that means high quality there. And then the deadbolt receiver side of it, plate, right there. And then the rechargeable battery itself is right here. So it's a Eufy security rechargeable battery there. And this is going to end up slotting right in here, like so. And then the cover is gonna get put on right here. But I am going to leave this out until I get it installed. See that? So you should just pull with the two sides here and just pull straight out, it comes out. Okay, we're gonna give uh, this door a serious upgrade by installing the Eufy E330 video doorbell lock. And this is gonna be a really big upgrade. For the longest time we've had just a smart lock in here, smart deadbolt lock, and it's done a good job over the years, but now we'll be able to monitor through video, have a doorbell here so when people come up with this door they can ring the doorbell and we'll know that somebody's here waiting to get in so i'm just going to remove the old doorbell and remove the actual deadbolt generally these are going to be a pretty straightforward install because they're made by eufy to be adjustable for your specific door most of the doors follow standards so you shouldn't need a professional um, to install them now there's two components to the actual video doorbell. There's going to be the exterior unit and then there's going to be the interior unit. So this is the exterior part and you're going to have a couple of different things to look out for when you're installing this. So just take your time. But the first thing you install is the actual deadbolt portion. So you want to locate that in your packaging and also want to find 
the screws that they provide for you as well. Yeah, so here is the deadbolt and there is an indication right on here. There's a, a top that's indicated on there. And one thing that I like to do is just take my old deadbolt and line it up with a new one and just make sure that it's the same length. If it's not, you just rotate these 180 degrees and it extends out. So you can see as I rotate it, it makes this portion right in here longer. And this portion right in here longer, you just rotate that and it adjusts to whatever depth your door is. So then we're gonna slide this right in there. It should set nicely in there, nice and snug. Get the included screws, it should, it should sit nicely back into the existing holes. If for some reason your wood is stripped, then what I recommend you do is stick some toothpicks down into the hole with some crazy glue or super glue and let that cure overnight. Um, and then you can go ahead and screw it into the existing holes and with the toothpicks and the super glue in there, it's gonna, it's gonna sit in there really nicely. So that, that went in really nicely. Now, the next thing we wanna do is actually install the exterior part and the interior plate. So on your doorbell, there's the interior part is two, two units. You got the inside plate and then the actual part where the battery uh, sits. So what we wanna first do is take the interior plate with these longer screws and this is going to sit right on the inside and then this rubber gasket is going to be pressed up against the door so first what i like to do is just feed these cables through underneath the deadbolt and then the other thing that you want to do is turn the deadbolt to the locked position and you can do this easily with a screwdriver or just with the key uh, stick it in the slot there and rotate it out. And you want this little pin right here to be vertical. So coming through here, stick that right in through there. Nice and vertical. Stick that in there and stick the little pin through. Okay, push right in through there. Now we can take the inside plate, feed, carefully feed the cables through. And the plate that goes on the inside there, right about there, take our two screws, one there, one there. And I recommend just kind of hand tightening these down. You kind of feel the threads in there and then just hand tighten them to get them started. That way you don't risk stripping them at all. And then once you've got them started, you can use your screwdriver to finish drilling them in. But before you tighten them all the way down, you're going to want to make sure everything's lined up. So I'm just gonna, you can use a power drill to screw these in. I just prefer to use a hand screwdriver just so I don't strip anything. There are long screws now just before this tightens down all the way. Make sure this is vertically lined up there and it is vertically level with this right here. be easier for me to come around this way to finish this off. Well, the alignment there, make sure it's nice and level. Check one more time on the exterior. Yep, we're still good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish screwing these down nice and tight. Okay, now that we've got that nice and secure, we can move on to installing the interior unit. And before you install this, I just recommend popping the battery out for the install itself because that'll allow you to access the two screws underneath there. And there's gonna be a total of three screws. But before we do that, we want to plug the cables in. So we're gonna plug this in. You can see the red and the red line up there. And then this just presses into this copper plug right there. There we go. Keep these cables tucked out of the way like so, and then this we're gonna want to have in the horizontal position, which puts this in the vertical position to be lined up with our pin. And we press it on just like that. So now everything is nice and flush. We have one down here. 
<clears throat> two more in these corners. Not gonna be able to use a fatter screw like this. You're gonna need to get a skinnier one. <laughs> this one barely does it too. And then there is a little tiny plug that they provide you to plug this little hole up right there. It's nice. And then we've got the battery, which does charge via USB type C. Make sure you fully charge that up. Pop that in there. And it turns on. That's a good sign. All right. That was pretty easy. All right, so I've already got the Eufy app downloaded and installed because I'm a huge fan of the Eufy ecosystem. I've slowly been moving all of my cameras uh, and security over to Eufy security. And so you're just gonna add a new product. You're gonna go down into Smart Lock and then you should see the E330 Video Smart Lock. Assign which house, because I do have them here at my house and at my Manshed YouTube studio. It's gonna ask you to scan the QR code that's actually on the top right up here inside of your smart doorbell lock. Go. And then it gives you the option to either connect to the Homebase 3 or through your router. In this case, I'm going to click on Homebase 3. Okay. Let's say that I want to connect it to... Oh, I have reached my maximum number of devices connected to it. So I need to get another Homebase 3 hub. Um, Yuffie, could you send me another Homebase 3 hub, please? I've maxed them out over here at Manshed headquarters. We're just going to set it up through the router, which means they're going to be stored locally here on the smart video doorbell lock. I'm going to click the set button. I'm going to hold it down. Hear the beep. Ready to set up. Click next. It's now connecting via Bluetooth. And we're going to connect to my Wi-Fi. Confirm that. The wait. There you go. It's interesting. There's actually speakers on the inside and there's speakers on the outside unit as well. And they're switching back and forth. That was probably the easiest smart lock I have ever set up. And this happens to be a video doorbell smart lock. And it was ridiculously easy. All right. I'm just going to put that back on there. And then we're gonna say where this door smart lock is. It's on the garage door, the garage door. And now it's asking me to close the garage door so it can do a calibration. So the one thing I didn't change out is the strike plate on the inside here. You can change out the strike, strike plate, but I'm gonna try it with my existing strike plate and see if it works. If not, I'll switch it out for the Eufy provided strike plate. Go. Close it. I'm gonna say that, yes, I have closed it. Calibrate lock. It worked with the existing strike plug, so that's nice. Okay, so now it is asking me to set up a four to eight digit code. Hey, no peeking on my code. Okay, now it's asking me to set up the fingerprint reader. So we're gonna register our fingerprint. So we're gonna start enrollment. And it's asking me to adjust my finger location on the pad so I can get multiple print areas. And there we go. Oh, look at there. Hey, hello, Manshed subscribers. Wait, you're not a subscriber? All cool. Just hit that subscribe button down below and you will be a Manshed subscriber. Night vision optimization. Next, setup complete. Done. We need to update it. Okay. Once you get the E330 video doorbell lock connected to your Eufy account, then you'll be able to do a variety of things in the app, including control all the settings. So what you're going to see here is a thumbnail of the last event that it recorded. And down here in the lower right, you'll see how many events it has recorded already since I installed it. And it, once it loads right here, you'll be able to see all of the events listed right here and whether or not it was human or animal. And then of course, all of the face ID and recognition is built right into this as well. Uh, when it's connected to a home base three. And so if I was to play one of these clips, I could just click on it there and it would automatically start playing. That's me checking my audio and everything before starting this video. Um, and I can see right here, the detected, the, the motion that it detected. And then I could even download this clip by clicking the download button right there. And then coming back out here, 
what I really like is that they've got a lock and unlock button right here without going into the, the camera app uh, or the, the specific camera at all. I can just click and hold on this button right here and the door just unlocked, which was nice. Or if I click and hold on it again, it will relock. And now it's locked just like that. Also, of course, get notifications for when there is activity. So you can see that the door was locked, the garage door was locked and it was locked by me. Um, and then the human alert detections that I've gotten as well since I've installed the video doorbell lock. Some other things we can do is if we go into, if we just tap on the three little buttons right here in lower right, we can put the camera to sleep or we can go into the full settings. And inside here, there's a plethora of options that we can adjust in here. So motion detection, first and foremost, this is how we can really fine tune that motion to make sure that you're not getting false alarms. I have this, this video doorbell lock is not looking or facing towards the street, but I'd venture to say that 80% of you are gonna have a video doorbell lock like this on your front door and it's gonna be facing a street in close proximity. So you can actually change a lot of the parameters for the distance that it's detecting. So if the street is more than 15 feet away from your door, then you wanna set that at 15 feet or less. Uh, then you can also say you want all motion to be detected or just human activity. And then wrong try protection, uh, that's just it'll lock it out and you gotta use the manual key to actually unlock it and lock it if, if that happens. Oh, manual lock, what? There's a manual lock on this, Michael? Yes, actually there is. Uh, the manual lock is right behind this door. So if you pull this down, pull it out of the key socket there and slide it to the right, voila, there is a beautiful glowing manual key right behind here that uh, some people probably didn't even know existed. So there it is right there, there's the manual key. So here's some test footage right out of the video lock and it's got great night vision. It's really clear with the resolution. One of the best that I've seen for a video lock or a doorbell lock for sure. And I like the field of view that you can see even in the direct sunlight here in the morning. The night vision has really clear and even a night vision optimization mode based on your door frame. So they really have thought of everything when it comes to making sure you get the best crystal clear image out of this video camera. For video locks, morning direct sunlight can be some of the hardest to shoot in. And so I was quite impressed with this video quality. The notification responsiveness was also quite impressive. Here I am pushing the doorbell button and you can see on my Apple Watch Ultra how fast that notification came up. One of the things that I'd like to see Eufy add is some type of sensor to know when the door is open or closed. So the only thing we've got really is the motion of the camera, as you could see there in that clip, while I close the door, open the door, it did record that clip and I got a notification. It's also great for just, you know, making sure your landscapers are actually doing what they say they're doing. We have great landscapers, they do a great job, but it is cool to see these being picked up by the motion sensor and getting these little clips sent to me. There are multiple ways to unlock your door. The first and most obvious one is that fingerprint reader. It's the one that I use the most. It's very convenient. You can also unlock it and lock it directly from the Eufy app which was also fast and responsive. And then you can put your code in manually into the keypad, which is also backlit for night entering of that code, which I love that backlit. The doorbell button also automatically illuminates, letting people know that that's where they should push for the doorbell, which is a nice indicator. And this is how easy it is to pop that battery out of the video lock itself. You will get a notification when your battery is running low, so you don't have to worry about it running out. And you can always use your physical key from the outside or the knob on the inside if the battery does fail, but you can also power it by an external power bank while it's still in the lock if you have a dead battery. Check the links below for the best price on the Eufy Video Lock.